years and years and years, we all watched you interview the biggest celebrities right. in sports, mm -hmm. in entertainment. Um, you know, you were hanging out with these big stars, rubbing elbows with like the biggest names out there. But no one knew while this was happening in your life, you also had a serious addiction to alcohol. But then in 2005, a series of explicit voicemails that you left for an unknown woman were leaked to the internet. Let's take a listen. You thought vagina cookies were bad, huh? <laughs> say those vo voicemails that you left were during a two-day blackout? Yeah, three, actually. You know, we, uh, we, it's a joke sometimes, but uh, Charlie Sheen said, nice effort. That was his oh. comment. Oh. I don't think I'm the first man to ever make that call, but, you know, the we're serious... the first, or the first woman. Yeah, too, right. absolutely. But the, the serious part is I was in a blackout. That's not me. Mm -hmm. And the more serious part is I could have been driving. I could have run over right. somebody's family. Right. I could have been... That's right. You know, thank God I was in New York and had a car and driver, but... That's the problem with alcoholism. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was a blackout. And uh, I don't remember it. There were no hookers. I can't remember the day. I know I was in bed by 7, someone said. But, uh, and we had an embargo on me and guess for, for uh, the show. And guess who got the first interview? Mm. Julie. Julie. Yeah. Remember that day? Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, but, it, but it was a blackout. I had no idea what I was doing. What am I missing here? What was so wrong with it? Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> no, uh, I'm serious. I don't know. I can, I can never understand the hysteria over it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I really can't. There were helicopters flying over my house. I think house it was and... because here you are. You're a journalist. You're on TV. You look like you had it together. Mm -hmm. And then that wasn't the you that everybody knew from watching you for many right. decades on TV. I think that was Right. Yeah. Yeah. If you're an actor, it's fine. Right. Yeah. 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 Come on. Well, well, I was acting that day. I was but just sober now. I think, I think sober that now. another part of that... We're in a different time when this happened. I mean, there's so many things are leaked to the to the internet now. Right. People's photos, their personal emails, everything that contextually that felt shocking at the time. It doesn't feel shocking at all now. And like you said, plenty of people have made that call to yeah. plenty of other people on both sides. When Alec Baldwin, Baldwin had that unfortunate voicemail mm -hmm. a few weeks later, yeah, I, him, I said, "Don't you read the newspaper? Mm -hmm. I mean, didn't didn't I teach you guys something about this?" <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I mean, it's it's a it's a different time. It's a different time now. It was. It would have been another three years after that mm -hmm. till you actually fell to rock bottom, right. mm -hmm. and then you went into your last rehab. Mm -hmm. Okay, what what was it that took you down to rock bottom? You know, alcoholism is the only uh, disease that people never say they have, mm -hmm. and you lie to yourself. Mm -hmm. and, and and I was lying to myself. My last day, I was alone at my house in Nantucket to rest. I drank 14 bottles of wine. Oh, wow. wow. In one day? Have you done that? Wow. In one wow. day. And they found me lying flat on the ground, and that was it for me. That was my bottom. I, I, I weighed 120, wow. take 40 pounds off this body, mm -hmm. and I weighed 120 pounds. I got into rehab, and I finally, for the first time, after three previous rehabs, uh, they just said to me, you're going to die. Mm -hmm. And, um, mm -hmm. and I, finally, I finally got it. You, know, it mm -hmm. takes a, you have to get it. You have to want to get sober. That's right. And so I hadn't had a drink since. I had enough that day, by the way. you think that it was... Um, was it the 14 bottles of wine, or do you think it was them saying you're going to die? Was there a moment that made it be your last re trip to rehab? Because certainly, I'm sure you had a lot of horrible experiences up to that point. Um... How are you so sure about that? Uh, <laughs> I'm uh, guessing based no, I, on your I, story. I no, you know what happens is you, you start worrying about your job and your family and my, my beloved son, you guys know. Yeah. And they said, stop worrying about that stuff and start thinking about you. Yeah. That's and, right. and I did that. And, That's right. and, and now what I do is try to help as many people as I can. And I, I work with hundreds, maybe thousands of people. I speak all over the country. That's right. And it's not a shame to be an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we drive safely. That's right. Six years sober.